Yo, what up guys and welcome back towards this new video here on the channel and on today's video I'm going to make a video about my top three altcoins to be buying right now So make sure to watch this video till the end subscribe to the channel smash up that like button And of course ring up the bell notification if you haven't already But more importantly guys, let me know in the comment section if you do like this kind of content And then let's jump right away in towards the first pick I've got for you guys out there so like you can see, there are many altcoins in the red here. Massive red is getting formed across the border. And of course, as well, guys, once there's blood in the street, it equals also very big opportunities right now. So let me first of all go in towards my first pick here. And you may save, you may well be saying BNB, that is a pretty safe bet. But guys, what I want to be pointing out here in this video, I am only going to be buying altcoins right now that are low risk with potential high reward. Because I don't want to be affording to risk my money, to lose my money in the end of the day here. So, make sure to keep that in your back of your mind. So, let me right away explain why I'm currently dollar cost averaging in towards BNB. Even though the SEC is right now investigating BNB, I'm still going to explain about why I currently think it's a good buy. So, like you can see, I mean, first of all, I want to be saying here, I bought BNB back in 2019 and 2018 at a dollar price for approximately $12, somewhere in this region. Me and my friends made so much money from BNB and I personally think it is one of the similar opportunities that we're currently having, guys. I mean, if we're going to look back at this price action over here, you also thought, oh, I am buying high right now here. But then, of course, if you're zooming out, this chart is once again very small. So let me right now explain why I think BNB is a good price. First of all, this is the BNB against US dollar price, right? I personally think that this is the accumulation range we're currently looking at and this is a range where BNB is most likely going to be bouncing from this range over here. I personally think it's likely to see this previous resistance flipping into support over here and holding it up here. I personally think that this is a good dollar uh, range for, for accumulating BNB. Yes, we could be potentially go lower. We could be potentially wick all the way down to uh, $200 maybe. But that is for me not a real big problem. Why? Is because if I'm going to look at BNB compared to Bitcoin, this is the chart, the main reason basically why I'm buying BNB right now. If we're looking at the weekly time frame for BNB compared to Bitcoin, you can see we are forming one crazy consolidation phase. First of all, you can see that BNB has always been trending up here against Bitcoin. And personally, I do still think it's going to be doing so. Why? It's because BNB is a company with high cash flows. So what does it mean? Of course, BNB makes, uh, sorry, Binance makes a lot of revenue. They're spending it on their coin. They're spending it on development on their coin. And that is a very positive thing here. So this coin will be definitely survive the bear market. And it will definitely not take as a big of a hit as many of these other altcoins. Well, basically don't have these big revenue models behind it. So BNB is for that reason already alone a good investment. But more importantly, if we're going to look at this comparison to Bitcoin, I personally think that, yeah, BNB compared to dollar could be potentially come still a little bit lower. But compared to the Bitcoin price, I don't really see it coming down much more. And actually, if we're looking at this pattern, this is a bullish symmetrical triangle since we had a yeah positive lead-in phase, bullish lead-in phase. Then we're consolidating. Real significance getting added towards this chart, right? And it's just going to be a matter of time until we'll, we're going to be breaking out. Could this be a well before we're breaking out? Yes, guys. It could be most certainly take a very, very well from here on. Maybe another 150 days. And also, with all these three coins I'm currently mentioning, I personally think that the big profits are only going to roll in if you're at least going to hold for the coming 12 months. Because, yeah... We could fall down a little bit more tomorrow. We could fall down a little bit more the day after. But I personally think that these coins are very good for dollar cost averaging. Once you get your salary, no financial advice. Uh, whatever I do, what I do, if I get my income, I maybe spend 5 or 10% on BNB. 5 or 10% on the other coins, right? So I personally think that this is a very good pick right now here. And if we're going to talk about the price target, guys, yeah. You can currently look here, 125% measured move here from this point here. If we're going to get a breakout, it's going to be getting measured, a 61% breakout against Bitcoin. So that is, of course, a very strong hold. I prefer to hold a little bit more BNB than Bitcoin right now because it, BNB is looking very strong against Bitcoin. That is the whole point I'm trying to be making here. So from off this point, this could be, of course, an approximately 90% trade towards the upside against Bitcoin already. And let's say Bitcoin is going to be moving towards the upside. Yeah, this could be also mean that the BNB price action is going to even increase further more than two or three hundred percent towards the upside. So this is, of course, definitely a very big opportunity to look at. Then my pick number two. And once again, this is a pretty boring pick here. Some people once again will say, oh, Rover, these coins you're picking, these are so boring. But I'm trying to pick these coins because I'm trying to give you guys a low risk opportunity with very high returns. And I actually think that Cardano right now 
on the 58 cents here is a pretty good price to accumulate it. And of course, while it can still come lower, as Bitcoin comes lower as well, I see a trend getting emerged on, the, uh, on Cardano. What is very interesting to pay attention towards? Right now, guys, we can see that um, the ADA ape was tweeting about it. Big money is rotating out of Ethereum uh, out of Solana and into Cardano. And this is a chart, very interesting. You have to pay attention towards this chart. This chart is basically telling us something very interesting. It's basically a survey about which digital assets have you invested in towards. And this, uh, this, di this blue diamond basically was of course where the previous survey was around. So previously around, um, more people were invested in Ethereum than right now, what, what is in fact the, this survey, of course. So what we can see in this trend, first of all, we can see Solana taking a very big hit here. Less people are investing in Solana. I personally get that. The network getting halted and also Solana has been not really the most reliable network out there. And personally, I've been also stepping away from Solana already for quite a while. And I've been warning many people for it that I don't think that Solana is right now a good investment for the coming 12 months. I personally don't think that Solana is going to be making similar returns to Cardano and BNB. So you can see already Solana taking a very big hit here. Together with Ethereum, less people are invested in Ethereum. Pretty interesting to see. However, look at the Cardano pr uh, trend over here. So... Cardano is spiking massively above its range here. So we can clearly see there is a trend getting emerged also with Polkadot. So we are seeing a very, very high amount of interest getting created across Cardano. And that could be, of course, a hype that's getting started. And he's also saying the rate of reallocation favors Cardano faster in percentage and absolute terms than any other chain. If the trend continues, it will overtake Ethereum by the next survey. People are waking up. So this is, of course, a pretty interesting signal we're currently getting that, uh, yeah, this could be potentially a turning point. And also look at this. The uh, crypto recruiter was saying Grayscale has increased the allocation towards Cardano in, the, uh, in their smart contract platform X Ethereum fund. It's now 32.33%. Uh, this speaks volumes, Cardano. So Cardano is currently 32.3% of the... Um, smart contract platform x ethereum fund from grayscale so this is also pretty interesting grayscale is interested in cardano and that is also indeed speaking volumes and yeah cardano is really taking a big portion of the market right now here and that is also why since these big institutions the yeah basically the interest is spiking again for uh, for cardano it could be potentially be a very good time to be stepping in towards this market then more importantly looking at the price action guys you can see right now this is the daily time frame for Cardano, right? Rejection. Over here, we saw some uh, support from this uh, yeah, top side of the parallel channel. On the lower side, we saw some support getting found. And on the top side, we saw some rejection. So basically, we are trading in a clear downtrend. Can Cardano get lower on the dollar valuation? For sure, guys. I am not saying the bottom is in here. I only say if you buy Cardano today, that is why I personally think here, no financial advice once again, I think that in the coming 12 months from now on, you're going to send higher with your investment. That is what I'm currently saying. I personally think it's a good average price to accumulate in. And I am currently not going all in or whatsoever. I am dollar cost averaging in towards this market. I'm never going to go all in at once. And to really look and base off my opinion, is Cardano actually going to be performing well? I always want to be looking for the Bitcoin comparison. So this is the Cardano against Bitcoin chart. And this chart is right now speaking numbers. Like you can see over here, previously around in the bear market. Uh, yeah, basically 2018 bear market. You saw bouncing from this level, rejecting from this level. Also in the 2020 um, July run up, rejection from this level. Once we broke above it, support bounce from this level right now. Support bounce from this level. Guys, the bounce is getting started against Bitcoin. Could this be the turning point for Cardano? I personally think that this is a very big chance that we are going to see a turning point. Whether it's only a relief rally, I personally think we could be making some very good money from it. Just like over here as well, it was just a relief rally. But still, this was a rally of an approximately 100% against Bitcoin. So there is very high potential to make good money from uh, Cardano right now. So yeah, Bitcoin comparison is looking pretty strong. And what we want to be seeing in the bullish case scenario is, first of all, break this middle line over here. If you break this middle line, I personally think we could be visiting the uh, 82 cents approximately, that higher range here. If we get rejected, we could come down here towards, yeah, what is it, 25 to 30 cents here. If we're touching the level, it's going to be a no-brainer for me to accumulate. But more importantly, if I'm zooming out here, going towards that weekly time frame, guys, uh, and this is not the right chart to look at, actually. So, um, no, I want to be not talk about that right now here. But, yeah, more importantly, if we do break this top side of this downward sloping trend here, guys, it's going to be game on for Cardano. But more importantly, 
I'm just basing my thoughts on the Cardano compared to Bitcoin valuation. Yeah, Bitcoin can come down a little bit more, then our Cardano will also come down. But compared to Bitcoin, it's probably going to increase in value. So I personally think that Cardano is right now a very good hold. Then my third pick I want to be talking about is going to be Ethereum. Once again, guys, you may think this is a very boring pick here, but the opportunities are crazy huge right now. And with the, these three altcoins, you're basically taking a very low risk for a very high reward profile. And that is what I like about these top three picks right now here. So what we know... Ethereum, number two altcoin, always has been. But more importantly, guys, let's start to look at some charts. You can see the 1700 US dollars for the Ethereum price section. Oh, 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 that has been a crazy level of support. What we should have been paying, what we should are, well, what we are basically paying attention towards. Like you can see, previously, Iran provided very strong support. Ethereum is not willing to be breaking below this level. I personally think 1700 US dollars, I am longing it. I'm buying it over there. If we break below it, we're going to probably create one of the most craziest bullish divergence, right? Because momentum is climbing, price action is falling. This is a typical, uh, yeah, basically price suppression period. Price action coming down here, RSI trending back up here. It's going to be an inevitable reversal. So in the imminent short term, I personally think this chart is looking good. Together with that 1700 US dollar target, that basically is a very strong wall of support. But once again, I want to be looking at the Ethereum compared to Bitcoin price action. Can this chart come down further? And I mean, my prediction so far has been playing out perfectly. We broke down of this upper sloping support line over here, this very long trend that we have been creating. We have been trading in this trend for an approximately 338 days. We broke below it. And what is happening right now? We first of all lost the first support level. And then I talked about that we are going to go down towards the 0.06%. We did so. Right now we lost the second level. So what is my prediction? I personally think we're going to come down to 0.056. So do I enter Ethereum right now? No, I don't think that in terms of risk to reward compared to Bitcoin, it is a good price to enter Ethereum right now. However, I think it's going to be a good entry in general. It can come in a little bit lower, but once it touches this level, and let me go to the weekly time frame, right? And let me for a second remove every single drawing I got over here. And let me look at this pattern over here, right? So we could be arguing that we are currently seeing something very interesting, right? So let me get this rectangle out there. And let me look at this range over here. This has been historically a very strong range for Ethereum compared to Bitcoin. Also, look at the upward sloping support line we're currently forming. Upward sloping support line getting formed, horizontal support range compared to the Bitcoin price, guys. This has nothing to do with the US dollar valuation. This is just purely, do I think Ethereum is going to perform well against Bitcoin? Yes or no? I personally think that we are right now in the range where we could be bouncing. Is this going to be the bounce towards a moon or whatsoever to, to, to new ultimates never seen before? Probably not. Probably not. But what I do think is that on the imminent short term, we could be making good money. And of course, if we're going to hold at least for the coming 12 months against the dollar pair, I think you're going to be making very good profits. But for this one, for this case, the Ethereum compared to Bitcoin uh, yeah, pair, I personally think that in the coming, let's say, two to four months here, you could be, of course, make good money for Ethereum against Bitcoin. I personally think that Ethereum is once again going to be a little bit stronger than, uh, than Bitcoin if we're going to see that recovery getting formed on the market. If you're basically interested in accumulating any of these altcoins right now here, you can find a link in the description to Bybit or Femex uh, or even Prime XPT where you can sign up, claim a deposit bonus, and of course, accumulate all coins on spot or with leverage, whatever you feel comfortable with here. Um, but yeah, this is, in my opinion, to the time to be accumulating. This is not the time to distribute. This is the time for dollar cost averaging. So yeah, I hope you guys truly enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, let me know in the comment section below, guys, and smash on that like button. It will be highly appreciated. And it's only going to take a few seconds of your time. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching towards this amazing new update video here on the channel. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace out. Goodbye.